All right. Welcome to part four of the Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy playthrough. Uh, continuing on with Misty Island. That, yep, that's, that's all I have to say. <laughs> uh, now to talk about something else. <laughs> now to move on to the next subject. Um... Oh yeah, I've been cutting them out, but um, I really wait. No, is it this game? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the red eco uh, doubles your attack power, which is, I guess, that's nice. Very situational, though. All oh, right. Yes, this is a place. Uh. That uh, Daxter got transformed. We were here earlier in the game, but it was just a cutscene. Oh. Um, yeah. So this is the place where... I don't even remember why we were here. <laughs> um, but uh, Jack and Daxter were on this adventure. They heard uh, a group of bad guys talking about some evil things. Yada yada. I fucking died. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, I fucking died. Daxter fell in the dark eco pit and uh, turned into the the weasel otter thing. It's a water. <laughs> he turned into water. He turned into a water. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm sorry, there's a comic called Jeffrey Dahmer vs. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> You heard me. I wish I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to read this. I I don't know if you need to, buddy. <laughs> I need to read Jeffrey Dahmer versus Jesus Christ. Oh <laughs> dear God! Who made this? My favorite fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's political. Oh. <laughs> oh dear God! It's political. Why is it political? Because uh, little did you know, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer's a controversial character. <laughs> Some dude got shot and said, "Ugh, Bush." Oh yeah, you want to appreciate this fact? No, I don't think I do. <laughs> that vat right there was the same dark but eco vat that Daxter oh fell in God, and transformed joke. into that and transformed into the water. I just did it myself and I died. Oh, make make it make sense, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Daxter falls in it, turns into a god. I fall in it, I die. Come on, that was the same fucking dark eco vat. Uh, whatever. I feel like the whole giant bones thing of a deceased creature. I feel like Sonic Boom did that one time. <laughs> I could be, I could be crazy, guys. <laughs> I you was are. crazy once. <laughs> <laughs> they locked me in a room, a rubber room, a rubber room filled with waters. The waters made me crazy. <laughs> oh, you can't treat those as platforms, apparently. Okay. This isn't Mario Odyssey. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Jack and Dexter made me crazy. Oh, uh, you're telling me. I played Sonic Boom first, for the record, and then I played this, and I was like, oh... Man, a lot of this game's aesthetic just reminds me of Sonic Boom. 
That frightens me. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the parts that really stand out the most are, like, it's the same kind of graphical detail those precursor orbs have. There are some parts of level design, especially a later game, that have that same kind of aesthetic style, and that just screams the Sonic Boom aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. those precursor orbs right there, yeah. I'm sorry, there's two Jeffrey Dahmer comics? They made a sequel? <laughs> no, this one's called An Unauthorized Biography of a Serial Killer. Uh, Why are there two Jeffrey Dahmer comics? I don't know. The real question is why aren't there more? <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. Whoa there, buddy. <laughs> Let's not get political now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So your health bar, um, you're allowed four hits, um, and every time I think it's 50 tiny green ecos, um, you restore one of your health points, um, but you can only uh, okay. get hit. Yeah, you can only get hit four times. The uh, There's only three sections in that heart, but the fourth time is actually like you lose all of the tiny green ecos that you collected. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Yeah. So it's not a last ditch effort. It's like the first ditch. <laughs> it's the, it's it's the, the first resort. <laughs> it's, yeah, it is the first resort. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. So I really wish they didn't do it like that. Oh yeah, fall damage. That's always fun. Oh boy! <laughs> I love oh. when platformers have fall damage. Don't you just love that, guys? Yeah. Imagine Sonic Boom had fall damage. <laughs> well, in that game's defense, there's not really anything to fall from. <laughs> just a bottomless pit is all. Koopas. Blows up! Are we coming to... Oh, yes. Vehicle sections. These exist in the game. This little propeller thing is kind of fun, mainly because um, the controller vibrates, con constantly vibrates the longer you accelerate, which actually feels really nice in the hands. I don't know if you guys are a fan of like uh, constant vibration in the controllers, but I feel it very uh, therapeutic. Yeah, I like to make the controller vibrate and put it up my... <laughs> whoa, whoa there, buddy. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you do with your controllers, then, oh no wonder my Joy Cons have drift. Okay. <laughs> no wonder my Joy Cons have drift. They've been drifting it's up somebody's app. <laughs> But yeah. This isn't even near your village. The Misty Lake, this is like fucking at least some distance away from the hub world village. Calm down there, Kira. It's the biggest Calm piece down. of dog shit. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Blows up! Yeah. 
and turn, sharp turn, oh, and then, oh, damn. I missed a couple of orbs, god damn it. I could be wrong about this, because I might be misremembering, um, I don't think you can control the camera while you're on the a vehicle section, um, because ah. it's, yeah, because I think what they expect yet. you to be is holding the accelerator button, which is X, um, and then, you know, just steering with the left stick. So I don't think you have a camera control during those sections. So uh, aligning yourself, because that, that's what, well, at least gaming has taught us to do for a while now. Um, you technically turn your character with the right stick technically it's really just like realigning your character in line with the camera um but you technically turn with the right stick i don't know what the hell you do with the left stick uh when you want to go left or right <laughs> you're really just strafing uh, you touch with yourself. the left stick whoa there buddy <laughs> i can see what that jeffrey dahmer comic has been making you think uh, <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad uh, Nathan is nowhere near peanut butter right now. We don't talk about that. We're leaving. the biggest piece of dog shit. See, you have to take a boat over to Missy Island. That's not part of your village. So, shut up. Get back in the <laughs> part of the village in her heart. Oh, yeah. Because, um, yeah, the only female character in this game, so it has to be a love interest, right? Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. This guy is actually, actually Jack's uncle. He is such a vital character in Jack 2 and Jack 3. So vital that you never see him after this cutscene ever again. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He dies later that evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and since Jack is a silent protagonist, uh, he can't cry about it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I should say silent protagonist in this game. Um, he has a voice in Jack too. Um, that's actually sort of a plot point in that game. Because stupid fucking plot. Um, at the beginning of Jack 2, like, Jack is captured and, like, experimented on by the main villain of that game. And, like, and it gives uh, him a voice actor. Yeah. It gives him a voice actor. And, and Daxter even does make a comment. It's like, whoa, you sound different. <laughs> so, funny banter right there, I'll say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am just now remembering the uh the game mechanics of uh Jack 2 and Jack 3 for that matter um so you know how this game has all the different colored ecos like the blue and electricity red strength yellow projectile all yada yeah. yada yada no. um <laughs> fair enough um <laughs> uh Jack 2 and Jack 3 gets rid of colored eco altogether uh and they only have like uh light eco and dark eco mechanics and I don't even think Jack 2 had light eco mechanics. Um, so there's a there's a mechanic in Jack 2 and Jack 3, where it's like if you collect enough dark eco, you can turn into dark Jack. Uh, think essentially the werehog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, turn into Dark Jack, and then like all your powers buffed up, you get a whole new design and all that, all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, the Werehog, and I think Jack. You get the bad ending, don't you? Uh, fuck if I know if those games have multiple endings, I don't care. <laughs> um, so yeah. I think Jack 3 also has the Dark Jack mechanic, but there's also the Light Jack mechanic in Jack 3. Uh, 
<laughs> wow, this does yeah. look like the werehog. <laughs> 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 That's kind of crazy. The werehog before the werehog. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that is, wow. <laughs> Let me find an image of Light Jack. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting when I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're looking at pictures, okay. Yes, please don't forget to uh, activate the teleport gates, otherwise you'll have to do the vehicle section all over again. <laughs> always use fan art. There's only fan art. Uh, oh dear god, it's getting horny. Whoa! <laughs> The fan art is becoming the other type of fan <laughs> art. <laughs> Light tech speed run. <laughs> I saw more feet than I wanted to. Yo! <laughs> Why is the internet like this? I don't know. Should ask someone it just about is. that. I, I oh. just did. Womp womp. <laughs> so this vehicle section, since you're over lava, you, know, you have to cool down the vehicle with those water balloons. Um, maybe it's just me being nitpicky, but uh, Kira said that she uh, released. Uh, all these water balloons in the canyon. How the fuck did you do that if your vehicle can't even withstand the fucking lava? <laughs> um, because magic. we had we had to get the right amount of power cells in order to um, uh, give this thing a heat shield, quote unquote. We still have to worry about the vehicle's temperature. How the fuck did I you think release the bigger? Hmm. I think the bigger thing is, if the vehicle can barely survive, how are the balloons surviving? <laughs> that's all, you know, you know that's, that is um, a good question. There's actually physics about that. Oh? Yeah, it's, it's an actual thing. If you try to light a water balloon on fire, it won't pop. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah physics. Okay. I still <laughs> no. Don't make me call Jack and Daxter a good game. <laughs> <laughs> the only realistic thing about the entire game. <laughs> Probably the one thing they looked up when making it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, we get one Google search for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the budget. One Google search. <laughs> we have one Google search. Use it wisely. Do water balloons pop next to lava? <laughs> <laughs> Sent a YouTube video. Of what? Oh yeah, the vehicle's called the Zoomer. <laughs> the Zoomer. <laughs> That's right. I remember that now. Oh yes. <laughs> you fucking Zoomers. <laughs> Successful, but he was never successful. 
You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, right. uh huh. The uh, lurker sharks are essentially the game's way of um, don't go too far out into the water. Because <laughs> you know how some games, if you just swim out too far into the water, they just like you get eaten or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that, yeah. that's this game's uh, mechanic. So like if you go too far out into the ocean, uh, you'll get eaten by a lurker shark. <laughs> 